Hey there, my name is Chris Lucas and you're watching Empire Building. Uh, I'm pretty excited to get into this because uh, Marathon Digital dropped a bombshell of a news press release uh, in the middle of the trading day uh, on the last day before Christmas. Today is Christmas Eve, but I really wanted to take the time to put this video out because well, one, I've been awfully busy lately and this news was just too good not to talk about. But we're not just going to talk about uh, the press release. Uh, which we will look at, but there's a whole lot more information that I dug into and wanted to share with you. So do listen the entire way through because there's some very good information in here. So without further ado, let's just get right into this. Uh, this is the press release, Marathon Digital Holdings Bitcoin mining fleet to reach 23.3 exahash after latest purchase of Bitmain's Ant Miner S19XP. This is the brand new uh, Bitcoin miner that Bitmain unveiled at the uh, World Digital Mining Summit in Dubai uh, just last early November. Now, understandably, it was given as much pomp and circumstance as you can give a Bitcoin miner uh, debut, but certainly its impact on the market going forward cannot be overstated. And we're going to look a little closer at that miner and a little bit more what was uh, disclosed at that announcement. For, for now, let's keep going on with this article. Marathon Digital Holdings, one of the largest enterprise Bitcoin self-mining companies in North America, has entered into a contract with Bitmain to purchase a record number of Antminer S19 XP, 140 terahash per second Bitcoin miners. Now, just as a quick reminder, the S19J boasts a 100 terahash per second, and that is primarily what makes up most of the fleets of both uh, most of the Bitcoin miners like Riot and Marathon and most of the others. Based on current delivery schedules, Marathon anticipates all newly purchased miners to ship from Bitmain between July 2022 and December 2022. In conjunction with this purchase, Marathon will be upgrading a portion of its mining fleet with the latest mining hardware to increase the overall efficiency of the company's operations. As a result, the company's mining operations are now expected to consist of approximately 199,000 Bitcoin miners producing approximately 23.3 exahash per second, making Marathon one of the largest known publicly traded Bitcoin miners in the world once all miners are fully deployed and operational. Now, that is impressive, although I'll have to admit it is somewhat, uh, let's say, irksome to see that nine, uh, 199,000. You really couldn't just add another thousand miners onto that order? I mean, come on. I like round numbers. Anyways, I'll get over it. Given the strength of our balance sheet and our asset light model, which allows us to invest our capital into mining machines rather than infrastructure, we were uniquely positioned to place the largest single order of S19 XPs in terms of total hash rate Bitmain has ever received, said Fred Thiel, Marathon CEO. With this latest purchase of S19 XPs, we will be growing our Bitcoin mining operations to approximately 199,000 total miners and 23.3 exahash by the early uh, 2023. This growth represents more than 600% increase from our current hash rate and a 75% increase from our prior projection of 13.3 exahash by se per second by the middle of 2022. Now, I'm also going to share with you because at that mining summit where Bitmain unveiled this new miner, Fred Thiel was also a speaker at that summit and had a little bit to share in terms of his thoughts on this exact topic. I'm going to share a little bit with that you. Uh, I'm going to share a little bit of that with you in this video as well. But clearly, uh, Fred Thiel was present during this unveiling and no doubt was in talks with Bitmain immediately considering how quickly this deal got done. And like I said, we're going, to, we're going to go into further detail about this miner and assess exactly how much of an improvement it is over the previous model. The rest of the article just goes on to say how well positioned they are and uh, thanking Bitmain and Bitmain thanking them and blah, 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 blah. Let's get on with the good stuff. For starters, I want to put something in perspective here because this cannot be overstated once again. 
23.3 exahash. How much, like it's, it's sometimes hard to keep these numbers uh, in context. You have to realize that Bitcoin's total hash rate on the entire network did not exceed that level until early 2018. Nine years after Bitcoin's creation, it took nine years for Bitcoin's entire uh, hash rate to reach the level that um, currently Marathon has planned uh, by early uh, 2023 to be deployed. That is an amazing achievement considering that uh, Marathon essentially accomplished that within approximately two years or two and a half years thereabouts. But having said that, of course, uh, Bitcoin's uh, total network hash rate continues to expand. Currently, by the end of this year, uh, Fred Thiel forecasted, uh, well, not necessarily him, but he's quoted uh, that Bitcoin's network hash rate should finish the year off at around 190 exahash. Looks to be pretty much spot on there. And by the end of next year, closer to 400 exahash. The network hash rate is going to explode next year. If you believe in the BitUta forecasts, then you'd know that the Bitcoin global hash rate will nearly double from the end of this year to the end of next year. We'll end this year around 198 exahash. We'll end next year at closer to 400 exahash. So by that time, that will mean that Marathon's share of the total Bitcoin uh, network hash rate will be approximately 6%. That's huge and certainly far greater uh, than a, uh, of a percentage than they have currently, which in case you're curious is approximately just under 2%, assuming a network hash rate of about 3.6 exahash for Marathon. So the growth of hash rate within Marathon is going to exceed the, uh, the rate of growth of the overall Bitcoin network, at least for the next year and a half. And this outlines exactly the point that Fred Thiel was making during his presentation at the Mining Summit. If you then look at 2023 and 2024, when you have a halvening and the reward rate goes down, your cost to mine a Bitcoin will increase by a factor of eight to 10 times between now and the halvening. Are you set up to deal with that? If you're paying six cents a kilowatt hour today, are you prepared for what the industry is going to look like. Provided Bitcoin continues to grow, that's fine. But if your cost to mine a Bitcoin is all of a sudden seventy-five dollars or $80,000 and Bitcoin's only at $100,000, what does that mean for your business? Can you afford to invest in miners? Can you afford to pay off those miners? And the last one standings are going to be the largest scale miners partnered with the power companies. So miners, be agile, but get as big as you can quickly. Now, so now let's just have a quick look at the unveiling that Bitmain uh, presented at the Mining Summit. So what's interesting about this is that when you compare the S19 XP to the S19 J, which as I mentioned, makes up the vast majority of uh, the existing mining fleets of these public companies, the S19 J consumes 3050 Watts while producing uh, 100 terahash per second. By comparison, this new model consumes slightly less uh, power at 3,010 watts, but produces 40% more hash rate at 140 terahash per second. That's a significant improvement in efficiency and overall hash rate inside the same size box. Now, 
it should be noted that while yes, that is a significant improvement, it pales in comparison to the dramatic changes that used to occur in new advancements and new models in mining technology. So like we've covered before on this channel, uh, that rate of in increase is starting to slow down, which is a good thing for industrial scale miners. It means that the existing miners that they already have in their fleet uh, will remain profitable far longer than they used to. And it also will lead to a slowdown in the overall growth rate of the Bitcoin network in terms of its overall hash rate. But really it comes down to exactly what Fred Thiel was getting at in his talk, that the landscape is going to change. And in the long term, the only ones that will be able to survive will be the ones that get the biggest and potentially the most agile. I'm still not entirely sure that that's the only model that's going to work. I still think the vertically integrated model will work just fine. And that is the model that Riot, by comparison, is pursuing. Um, however, I do think that in a bull market, the asset light approach is definitely going to win out. But when you flip things around and look at the bear market, then things could change. Uh, being vertically integrated could have its advantages and lead you to be a little bit better positioned um, for the next cycle when that growth returns. But that's something I am studying a little bit in further detail and I hope to have Fred Thiel on the channel in uh, short term and I'd like to talk with him a little bit more about that because it does seem like he's put a great deal of thought into this um, and they're certainly putting their money where their mouth is because that's the approach that they're clearly taking. So as far as what this means for maybe future price predictions and uh, maybe growth models for uh, Marathon Digital, it's not really worth getting into that at this time. We need to know more about what's going to happen with Bitcoin uh, in the near future. Um, we are talking about hash rates way down the line and we have to see how the overall hash rate growth is going to play out. And then, of course, you have to take into account the halving, which is going to be occurring not long after, well, roughly a year after they have all of these miners fully deployed. So they're only going to have about a year uh, to benefit before that halving takes place. And when looking that far out, there's a whole host of other things that you have to consider. And not all that relevant uh, when you consider uh, what's going to happen over the next, in terms of the price, for the next six to eight months. Those miners will just be starting to arrive. Um, but at least the point is, is that the growth story for Marathon continues. Um, they are forecasting to be uh, the largest Bitcoin miner potentially in the world. I, I'm aware that there are other Bitcoin player, Bitcoin miner players uh, in, in terms of some of the uh, mergers that have been announced that have also forecasted uh, similar hash rate uh, ex expectations. But until those things actually materialize into actual orders and everything else that goes along with it, including uh, obtaining the contracts for the, the power that's going to be uh, supplying these things, I don't put a whole lot of um, importance on those uh, figures. Even with Marathon, there's still factors that could affect that, but they have a clear path forward. That's what matters. And getting first in line, as always, has proven to be a winning strategy. And yet again, Marathon is leading the way. So. It'll be interesting to see how this develops moving forward. So regardless of whatever the short-term uh, price action has been, the strategy of Fred Thiel and everyone over the team over at Marathon has been unwavering. They've continued to execute their strategy consistently. And the fact that they were able to raise so much capital so quickly from institutions is a clear signal that institutional adoption of this new technology, this new um, sector, this new frontier is going to continue. And in my opinion, it's not just going to be about Bitcoin having cycles anymore. There will certainly be cycles in the price action, but I don't think we're going to be looking at a two year bear market. It's just, that's not the nature of this anymore. I think we're gonna see 
a lot more of this steady increase followed by uh, longer periods of consolidation. It's going to take time for us to see potentially another blow off top. I'm not saying it's not going to happen. I'm just saying it's probably going to take a little bit more uh, in, more than just uh, the halving cycle to uh, induce that. And in the meantime, the entire uh, cryptocurrency space, not just Bitcoin, but all of it is going to continue to expand. And this does mean that Bitcoin is going to lose some of its market share to the broader market as uh, it concerns to all these other technologies that are being developed. This is not something I choose to ignore. But if I keep pulling on that thread, we're going to end up way off topic. I'll save that for another video. So I just want to say congratulations to the team over at Marathon. This was something I was anticipating, something I was looking forward to. And it was really nice to see that as a nice little Christmas gift uh, just before the market closed the day before uh, Christmas Eve. So thank you. I hope everyone enjoys their holiday. Stay safe. Uh, I'm going to continue to produce some content over the break because uh, I've got some time now since I'm actually at home for a little bit. Uh, so yeah, you can expect a few more videos between now and the new year uh, while I'm uh, spending some time in from the cold. That's all for this one. Now let's get back to Empire Building.